Good morning. The bureaucrats in Brussels and the UK, they are talking about a future trade deal. How does it go, you think? Not well. No. Yesterday, uh, the guys in Brussels, they said about the UK, you have unrealistic expectations. Well, that's a joke. It means that the UK wants to be an independent nation again. Right? Now, the funny thing is that the UK guys, they said the same thing about the guys in Brussels. They said, you have unrealistic expectations. Now, that's a really good sign. It probably means that the UK guys know what they are up against. Brussels, they don't want the UK to be an independent nation. No. They want to keep the control of the UK. Because... If they become independent, for real, it means that it will be strong again. Yeah. And it will be bad for Brussels. It will be bad for Germany. You see? Both sides argued that if the other does not give ground, there will be no agreement on the future trade deal. Yeah, just leave. Ignore them. Or negotiating with the bureaucrats in Brussels, this must be a pain in the ass. Because they are so full of themselves, aren't they? It seems that they have power, but this is not a natural power. You have to remember this. This power that they have was taken through manipulation. It started off with some pleasant idea of free trade. And then they took some power, and then they took some more, and so on and so on. And now you have this nightmare. Uh, I remember when we had this referendum in Sweden about the um, EU membership. There, was, there were people, quite a few of them, who warned about this. They said this will be bad. Unfortunately, not very many listened. Not the politicians, anyway. And, yeah... It's a sad story, isn't it? And now we have this nightmare. Yeah. I'm so grateful that the UK is leaving. I am. Very, very good. Uh, I want to tell you about this guy in France. Jean Dussin, 63 years old. Uh, for four years he was the head of a local pro-migrant association. I think you know already where this story is going. There's so many similar stories, aren't there? Yeah, he was uh, hosting migrants. He was very enthusiastic about asylum seekers, this guy. 63 years old. The organization's name was Itinerance. All right, so, yeah, he took them in, in his own home. Let them stay there. So yeah, he was he was beaten to death with a blunt object in his sleep, in his own bed. Wow. One guy is arrested, an, an asylum seeker from Afghanistan, 20 years old. Yeah, local newspaper confirms that he was murdered in his sleep. All right. Finally, I want to say this about this Italian MP. Yeah, I talked about him some time ago. He was talking in the parliament in Italy and he was very angry. He talked about all the lies surrounding the corona crisis. Yeah, it was a great speech and it's now translated. So I will post a link below the video so you can watch it if you want. It's fantastic. Yeah, really good. And it's interesting to, to hear the reactions from the other MPs. I expect something to happen in Italy, you see. Italy has suffered hard from this corona crisis. And now when the lies are exposed, something has to happen in Italy. I expect this from the Italians, you see. I like the Italians, in general I do. So something will happen, I don't know what. Yeah. All right. That's all. Be good. Bye.